It was October 7th when I got the call. A cold night, but an even colder night for Yves Demond. Dead cold. Demond was the resident millionaire of River North. A real high-class kind of dame living off money as old as Mona Lisa's smile. I'd been working in Chicago 10 years, but this was the first millionaire I'd found dead. There was a lot to gain from a death like this, for a lot of different people. But the murderer left a clue at the scene of the crime. A single glove. Good evening. William DeMond. Officer Byrne. It's Detective. I've been expecting you. Then you know why I'm here. Based on the hour, I assume that you're under the impression that I'm somehow involved in the death of my beloved wife. How about a drink? Please. Pick your poison. Whiskey. So, have you really come here to interrogate me? Have I reason to do so? Eve is dead. I'm in mourning over the death of my beautiful wife. You've had a lot to gain from her death. That's a bum rap, detective. I had much more to lose. Your wife is a real fine dame. Was. Ah. A grieving husband. How convincing. How dare you implicate me. Where were you on the eve of Eve's death? I was at the office. An account that required further attention. A likely alibi. My sources tell me you left the building at 7 p.m. I have you at the scene of the crime by 7.30. Maybe you were taking Eve on a little date night, looking up the stars to make up for the argument heard the night prior. It was a cloudy evening. No stars in sight. So you were outside that night and took notice of the stars? I could see the fog dusting over the city out of my office window. And the argument? Troubles at home? Minor marital dispute. She thought I was working at the office. Too late. Too often. Listen, Demond. I've been working these Chicago streets for 10 years and it always boils down to two things. Greed and revenge. I'm neither greedy nor vengeful. All I want is justice for the death of my beloved wife. As a detective, it's my job to deduce, so humor me for a moment. There was an affair you found out about the night your butler overheard you arguing, and your jealous rage took control. Yet, it was calculated, planned, situated on a rooftop where you thought you could go unseen and unheard. You're greedy. She controlled the bulk of the finances, and you were desperate for more money. You could have gotten away with it, too, if it hadn't been for one very important thing, a single glove. <laughs> You're wrong about one thing, detective. She didn't have the affair. I did. She caught me with my secretary in my office, threatened to drain me of all my assets. I had no choice. I had to kill her. Money won't keep you out of prison, Demond. And by the way, there were no sources, no gunshots heard. I played you like the fool you are. <laughs> if the glove fits. <laughs> <laughs> 